Are there awards for best lift operators every year? Yes. What? No. Do they call that was a Joe question? Last, last year, I got an award for best ramp work. What? So nice, like, at the lifties? At, at the lifty awards, yes. In, where do they hold lifties. those? They got to call them lifties. Do they fly people from all over the country? No, it's just for our It's resort. just for parks. It's just our resort. Okay. I don't know. Are we allowed wow. to say where best, you work? Wait, what? best what? Best ramp work. Best ramp work. So like work. when you come on the, on the bottom, yeah. that ramp, and then at the top when you leave. You've padded down the snow, caught the snow. I, I had it flat. I had it leveled. It Has was, anybody ever beautiful. stopped you and gone, this is some of the Good best job. ramp work I've ever seen? Yes, many times. What? Many Whoa. Times. Everybody, welcome to Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank Podcast. I'm Ari Shafir. <laughs> On today's episode, we talk to a hero of the snow. Me and Ryan O'Neill were in Salt Lake City. Ha <laughs> ha! We're in Salt Lake City. Recording uh, Utah, and we talked to Brent, your friendly neighborhood lifty. The lifty is instrumental in getting you up on the lift. You're drunk, you're high, ah, this fucking frostbite, and you can't be trusted to get on a lift. So we talked to our buddy Brent. Told us all about what it's like being a lifty ah, 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 among the greatest white sport there is, skiing. Ah, ah. Well, uh, I'm going to keep this introduction short because I'm getting legitimate frostbite on my toes. This was a mistake. I mean, it's a solid block of ice under this. Um, the Juice is Worth the Squeeze Tour. He's in, uh, he's headed to Seattle, Washington with special guest Dan Soder at the Moore Theater. Ah, I'm hoping to continue my streak of continuous sellouts. It will be close. It will be close. I added four shows in Salt Lake City uh, where we did this. I added five shows in Tampa. I added six bonus shows in Denver, Colorado. Oh. <sighs> By the way, the February 25th show at the Vogue Theater is sold out in Vancouver. The tickets for, might still be available for February 24th, but they might be gone, so I get them right now if they're any available. <sighs> How do you like these sheath underwear? This is not a commercial for this one, but look at the bulge it does. When you tuck it, it really gives you that fucking bulge. How? <sighs> Massive gains. Massive gains. Uh, and don't forget the Beacon Theater. Oh, I'm going to make that one a party, guys. I'm going to have guests. I'm going to have fireworks. <laughs> it's a homecoming show. The Beacon Theater. The best show I'm going to do this year. Woo! The most important one, New York City. I honor you with a great fucking show. All new material, and you will love it. Ha! Ah, that is March 24th. Tickets are available right now. Ha! Ah, it's on sale. So is Zurich on March 28th. And then I'm headed to the UK and Europe uh, in April. Uh, Glasgow, London, and Manchester. And whoo, London shows are almost sold out uh, in April. And then in May, Amsterdam. Stockholm, Berlin, Vienna, Ljubljana, Club Novajoka, is it Romania, uh, Bucharest, Romania, and Athens, Greece. <sighs> Get tickets for the Juice is Worth the Squeeze Tour. That's right, the Juice is Worth the Squeeze Tour. You know what that is if you check out my <sighs> social media. Because we have started up again. Oh man, I mean, I'm getting legit frostbite on my feet. <sighs> we have once again, I gotta sit down, started up. The fan driven tour names. <laughs> this was a mistake. Name my tour anything you want. If it makes me laugh or cr oh, that's for us, bite or cringe, I will be honored. Oh, I'll be bound by the gods of comedy to rename my tour that. The juices with the squeeze tour. It's me in front of a naked OJ Simpson. The deal is no sex. <sighs> this is your Instagram's rules. No sex. Uh, no defecation or urination. No Hitler. That means no Nazi stuff. Other than that, I don't know. Uh, no hate speech. Yeah. <sighs> Anything you want. Rename my tour. I hate this. It will hurt my career. But funny's funny. So I have no choice. I'm Ari Shafir, and I do weird stuff. 
Done those submissions in. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, talk with Kyla about all the tour dates you need to use to put on there. Uh, let's start the episode. <sighs> Me and Ryan O'Neill interview Brent the Lifty all about what it's like <sighs> being the most time honored oh, hero on the ski slopes. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, and we added a third show in uh, Salt Lake City with the uh, ski troop. <sighs> Where Ryan will be coming. Uh, San Jose is on there, too. Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Orange for Skeptic, like episode 506, Lifty, <laughs> starts now. I got to get in front of a fire. <laughs> I heard Bob Marley was from here. <laughs> is that true? That. No, for sure Bob Marley's not from not? Utah. No. Way. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, we're here in Salt Lake City. Yes, we are. We just finished up. A riveting show. Yeah. Seventh, wise guys. seventh of eight shows. Monday night shows. Monday shows, I think, are the biggest degenerates there are. Because one, they one, because they waited to buy tickets until everything else was sold out. Absolutely. Which means they're pothead losers. And two, that's it. Uh, who goes out on a Monday except for degenerates? Yeah, but they, it's like when you have a Wednesday show. Yeah. I feel like Wednesday, Monday, best fucking crowds. Yeah, for sure. At the comedy cellar, the late night at like on a Tuesday at one a.m., it's like you can just mention a drug. And they're just like, "We know what you're talking about. It's fine." <laughs> but on a Friday night, like, "Oh, i never." This is not I'm the appalled. kind of comedy I grew up on. Um, we're here with an actual lifty. Do you, by the way, do you find that term derogatory? Oh, yeah, is that a or is that your okay. word? I'm all about lifty life. Lifty, <laughs> lifty life. life. All right, it's not the L word. Because <laughs> no, 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 we, we could say the L word if you wish. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, okay. You Instead of lifty. so we're, lifty, we're talking. It's fine. How did you get into that? There's no school for it, is there? Origi- originally, I, I went in for parking. Oh, at the resort. Really? What? So I did four years in parking. Did they? Th- oh, you. I was going to say. Oh, I, I thought, thought you they meant li- for free parking. No, 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 no. Okay. I thought they looked at you and go, "You're lift material." Started for free pass. Yeah, to go ski for free. Wait, hold on. So if you worked a lot, they all they would do is pay you in for, uh, for with a no, free I'd pass. I still got a paycheck. Like I still got oh, an okay, hourly okay. pay. And you get to break into cars. Uh, I mean, I could. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I did it at the Pentagon easy. once on my stop at Arlington National Cemetery. It was a Pentagon stop, and I would just go through checking all the doors, and I, I just didn't know. I'm like, that's so. Wait, you worked at the Pentagon? No, I worked at Arlington National Cemetery. But you get oh. off the Pentagon stop and walk through the parking lot to the back. Ever- Honestly, there was like when I was in parking, people yeah. left their doors open. No, I could see that. And I went. I had to go close their door and like lock it and make sure it was really. Locked. It was like many, many times. Oh, people you did just, that for them? They just left. What if they door. left their keys no in there? Like. Yeah. No one, no one was there. I checked to see if their keys were in there, but like everything was gone and no one was around. So I could I see like, it. You open the door, I'll put just, your shoes on. I'll just shut yeah. the door for them. Yeah. Hopefully they have their key. Were there any like hot chicks? You'd go in and sniff the seat. <laughs> nah. There were definitely hot chicks. <laughs> Dude, like spring spring break and stuff. Like they the, the, Let the, me ask the you snow this. bunnies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there anything hotter than like what you presume is a hot chick? In ski pants and the skis and the whole With outfit, the fur, all and just white, a little bit of face white. showing. And you're like, I think that chick's super hot, and it makes her even hotter, yeah, because she skis or well <laughs> snowboards, but maybe I don't. <laughs> Depending on the, uh, the the outfit, like because it could like give that hourglass body. Depending yeah. on how there we go. Also, hour. they're all athletic. You don't see obese people generally on the slopes. Mostly, no. Um, so you got into li- li- lift lift the lift industries. Yes. The lift ops, lift yeah. ops, lift <laughs> ops, <laughs> lift tech. <laughs> it seems fun. We all went. Uh, or you gave us brats last time. It was pretty oh, fucking yeah. sick. Yeah. Is, is it? Are, we, are you going to get in trouble? Is it legal to cook? Uh, yeah. Oh cook. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Was that cooking I can't, inside? I can't yeah, that was cooking. Technically, inside. sell it. And there's been a lot of guys who like, I'll give you twenty bucks for a brat. And I'm holy like, shit. You're like, nope. yeah. Here you go. I'm like, yeah. I would love that, but I love my job. <laughs> what do they do? Put it. <laughs> no, I can see them saying, no. Like, we're, we'll charge. Fifty bucks for this brat at the fucking lodge. <laughs> True. <laughs> go to go to the lodge. I'll sell it for about fifty bucks. Dude, I yeah. went to University of Montana this year for opening game, opening football game, and and we were gonna go tailgate hopping, and I didn't know. Like, I was like, let me be part of this party. So I made two hundred little glasses of Jello shooters. You know, Jello shots. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, and oh. I just with trays, and I just took them around, and people like would walk by, and they're like, you see the people who they love. they're like, oh, is that a Jello shot? I'm like, yeah. They're like, are you selling them? I'm like, nah. You gotta give me a Grizz roar. We'd make people give Grizz roars. 
What the fuck is it? Oh, you have to roar, roar like a god. Like, what I'm the not doing fuck? That. I'm like, and you don't get one. And then like we would do like and we would like make up what it's for. We're like, it's for the whales. And they're like, okay. And then, like, what does that mean for the whales? We're like free the whales. And then like uh, yeah, we just had so much fun. But then we went through where they like sell stuff, this little private area. And this guy came out. He's like, you can't be having those here. And I thought he meant like without giving me one, but he meant like. Dude, we're selling alcohol here. You can't just give away booze at our place. Yeah. Do you think that like okay, so if you just sold brats like it's on the booze, side, it's, it's Jello. Jello, right? Yeah, that's right. It's they just have jello. no idea what's in there. That's it's, right. just, it's just Jello. That's right. It's sugar. Who would tell you? Would it be like an undercover guy who's like buys brats from you and then takes you down? Yeah, do or you have is this shoppers? There are like Mountain Safety. Oh just, fuck yeah. them. Who, who like who's your? Who, is there a guy in charge of all the lifts? There is. There's one guy. Yes. One, we saw today guy. at uh yeah Snowbird uh, Duckworth, Dra- the tram operator, the guy in charge is named Duckworth. Some Duckworth. Wait, was that the guy giving the announcement in no, the tram? No, that was Mike. Mike rules. Oh yeah, Mike was, and Mike <laughs> demanded everyone's attention <laughs> to tell everybody. It's green means easy, blue means moderate, and black means hard. Okay, get out there. Shouldn't they give you that info before you get on the tram? You should. You should already know that. Yeah, yeah I feel like who's going to be like, wait, what? Which which color is what? It's, but every, but everyone was yelling for everyone. Be quiet, Mike's trying to address us. I was trying to. This recording. Yeah, it is. Um. <laughs> So okay, so you get into the lift, the lift industries, mm-hmm. liftology. Yes. How much does it pay? First of all, uh, right now I'm getting twenty one an hour. Oh, it's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. So it's it's pretty nice right now. Like this year, they they just bumped it up. What was it before? Six dollars an hour. So last year, <laughs> last year it was, it was a class action lawsuit. <laughs> last year, the minimum wage was fifteen. Last year. And so what? This it went year, up to twenty one. This year it went to twenty. But I'm a, a lift lead, so I get. That's a dramatic dollar increase. Uh, like Thirty five, five dollar more. Holy wow, shit! For minimum wage for minimum. So. And these meth heads out here are still not participating. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, come on. Dude. Anyone can get a job there. Yeah. Like, do you know how much more meth you can give? So five much. bucks an so hour more? more? <laughs> yeah. It's, that's a meth a day. Yeah. Um, 20 bucks, 21 bucks an hour is a pretty good fucking job. Yeah. And free passes. And you, you get to ski for your work. So, yeah. Yeah. How What's, many like, uh, okay, so you know when they stop the lift? Yeah. You hit the button? Yeah. So how many times like you're just fucking around on your phone and you don't catch it? How many of those do you get before you get fired? Three? <laughs> you mean like somebody fell? Yeah, like <laughs> somebody gets severely injured because you're fucking around. Do you get three of those? I would be uh, on my phone. I you would, would not be paying attention. It, it depends. The person at the top, yeah, they could be chilling on their phone. Not they always attention. look like they're chilling on their phone. Dude, I almost fell today. That, yeah, that, I know. That, you, that, that we were happen. going up. We were going to Snowbird, and, and and I'm texting. I'm trying to get something done. I think I might be trying to get your number. And then uh, and you Ryan's were. like, lift your skis. You know, sometimes there's like a halfway point, and then you keep going on some lifts. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and so we I get just, a lot of broken ski poles when they come through that. They don't, oh, yeah. they don't raise their ski poles. <laughs> yeah. So we have a ski pole graveyard like right there <laughs> with signs that say, lift your ski poles, like keep your ski tips up. <laughs> they don't pay attention to that. It's fucking idiots. It'd be fun to make a, a collage of those people. Just, ah, yeah, like, it bends and then oh, I try if, to we, it. if we could film that, <laughs> oh, that'd be sick. Would be that great. would be sick. It would be great. Uh, but anyway, then he was like, lift up. So I was like lifting up my skis and I just assumed, it, and then he got off and I was like, oh, wait, but I'm like not ready at all. So then I, I, it's like going up. So I had to like jump Hop off. off. It was that far five off. Yeah, drop. yeah. You were going back around. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that could have been bad. Um, have you ever seen anybody get seriously injured on one? Mm, not really. Like they, they come uh, off and like kind of injure their knee, but like they're just hurt for a second. Uh, so we have to stop the lift for maybe five minutes just for them to re so you work bottoms and tops i work yeah all of it yeah you're like uh <laughs> through, throughout the day throughout the day like we rotate we rotate you're oh not, really you can't stay in the same spot i can technically because i'm the one that runs it wow so so you call your shot so like when i had you come over yeah like i was at the bottom like all day waiting but, but no one wanted the bottom so why i would talk to him i was like hey do you want to go to the top because the top you can hang out you top chill. you don't really have to do anything it's so much easier yes Right, because at the bottom, let me see if I know your responsibilities. Occasionally, it's slow down that fucking thing that the that the, whatever the resort yes. is hasn't slowed down when it comes in at lightning speed. How, yeah. Most of them are fine, and then some of them come in at lightning speed, and you gotta like slow that down. By yeah. the way, those guys, I feel like when they see somebody they don't like, they just let it they fucking let it go, smash like, them in it. the back of the legs. A little bit. Okay. Little bit. Like, like, there we I, go. Yeah. Like, yep. Especially like when they're loading, because I like to be at the bottom for the most part. 
And if they try to rush the chair, uh, what do you mean? save save that five seconds. What do you mean rush the chair? They try to like get the like, chair is already coming, and they try to get in front uh, of it because no one else is in front of them. Yeah. And I just, I was just like, okay. Oh, I do that let's, all let's, the let's, time, by the way. Let's see how this plays out. If you get hit by the chair, it's your own you fault. You get hit by the chair. Let's that see d- what happens. It doesn't seem like that's a good quality build where it's you have to just trust some, I assume, pothead to just grab that thing <laughs> and, and, and slow it down they, every they, single time. They all know that. We, we literally they, saw they guys. They all expect us to be just stoned out of our minds, not paying attention. But like, I'm paying attention. I I've see, seen guys I see smoking you're, weed there. You're about to fuck up, but it's on your own. It's, uh, so you're not going to learn until that chair hits you. And just be like, oh, <laughs> learn I probably way. shouldn't have done that. I was like, you're right. Do you guys have a union? Good no, there there are some unions. Like with Ski Patrol, they just got a union. Did they really? Ski and Patrol. Ski, the lift maintenance just started one this year that just passed. I feel like Ski Patrol are you're like you're in the army. And they're the pilots in the Air Force. You know what? They eat separately. Everybody's like, oh, look at these fucking hoity-toity motherfuckers. Ski patrol. Ski patrol, yeah. Yeah, yeah they think they're better than everybody. Yeah. They get to wear red or yellow. Red. Do you guys have an outfit? I'm With lift ops, we're blue. Blue. Um, so do they tell you what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do down there? Oh, wait, wait. So here's your responsibility. Yes. <laughs> Slow down the thing. Shovel snow onto the fucking area where people yeah, stand because it gets right, worn out. Do it flat. And- yeah, and uh, and and that's it at the bottom and the top. Fuck all. Just wait for co- it's collapses. A, it's, it's the same, top or bottom. You, you gotta, still have to put snow on. <laughs> you got to throw ramp. Yeah. Let throw, me ask throw, you this throw though. Snow on the ramp. <laughs> when you're clearing <laughs> out that thing. Yeah. So like, have you seen Cocktail with Tom Cruise? So oh, many yeah. times. When he's like flipping the drinks around, I feel like you guys get a little fan. You're like. I'm like, this guy's gonna get hit. Oh, something we're they approaching. Wait, they wait until last minute. And you're doing like some shuffling. You're getting a little fancy with it. Like you're staying there till the last seconds. Is it showboating? Oh, yeah. For <laughs> like, if you've been there a long, long time, like you know exactly where that chair is coming. Okay, okay. So you so guys like, aren't you, just oh, I meant to get this. like they'll people yell at you like, hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm like, yeah, I know you're here. Like, <laughs> what, what are you just adding more layers I now? Meant, I meant to get the whole outfit. I fucked up. <laughs> I tried to cross He's my cold. leg. It's, it's Salt Lake City and it's snowing. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> I had a bad accident today at Snowbird. I, and I, I can't. Uh, I, I can't <laughs> oh, cross my leg. Nice. Open. There you go. You can have it if you want. <laughs> oh. There it is. Grab it out. Grab it out. No, no. Just, Dude, what just, are you? Just the hat. You're just like the hat. a woman getting off from the. What the fuck is this doing? Okay. How much shit do you have in there? He's got a neck warmer. He's got a. He's got a beanie. My whole outfit. You um, should, hey, you should let him wear that hat. This is this you'll your is, hair. What, there's so much Rogaine is got, in there that you'll hair. grow hair, <laughs> a lot of hair everywhere. <laughs> They're so jealous of your hair already. <laughs> That's an Ames brother. They sent me. I, I tweeted at them. They had a cool design. They did all the Pearl Jam stuff, and I was like, oh, you, I think I just posted a picture of their stuff at Seattle Airport. And They're like, we'll send you hella shit. So I sent me that hat. There we go. True story. Um, are there awards for best lift operators every year? Yes. What? Whoa. Do they call that? Joe question. Last, last year, I got an award for best ramp work. What? <laughs> That's nice, like, at the lifties? At, at the lifty awards, yes. In, where do they hold lifties. those? They got to call them lifties. Do they fly people from all over the country? No, it's just for our It's resort. just for parks. It's just our resort. Okay. I don't know. Are we allowed wow. to say where best, you work? Wait, what? Best what? Best ramp work. Best ramp work. So like work. when you come on the on the bottom, yeah. that ramp, and then at the top when you leave. You've padded down the snow, caught in the snow. I, I had it flat. I had it leveled. It Has was, anybody ever stopped beautiful. you and gone, this is some of Good the best job. ramp work I've ever seen? Yes, many times. What? Many Whoa. Times. And during the season, too, they have like silver shovel. What? Is the same. So <laughs> it's, it's like it's, gold it's, slugger. It's like the lift of the week. What? So you get this actual, like, you get a shovel that's... No way! Painted in, in silver, and it has a a, a full a real stuff. shovel. Yeah, because they're like, why and spend I just, money on I just got that last week. What no. the? F- is it real? I'm, it's I'm real silver. Like, no it's spray paint. Spray paint silver. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, why is it flaking off in my hand? And like people that come by, they see that. It's like, oh, you guys got a silver shovel. That's that's great. And I'm just like, I don't really care. But like, are I people? Do, I, I do my job. Yeah. Are okay. people cool or dicks or probably both? Right. Oh, we but get, who could be? We get a lot of both. Yeah. I try to say thank you. Yeah. I always try to shake great. everyone's hand, oh, even really? the guys that are. Oh, really? Yeah, when I get off, even the guy that's sitting inside the lodge there, so I knock on the door. 
So thank, you thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. You're a real hero. Sometimes I'll see a lifty get on a plane, and if I'm in first class, I will give up my seat to wow. them. Wow. It is important what they do. I need to go on every flight you're upon. <laughs> well, I don't fly first class. That's I lied. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'm, I'll give I'm, you the I'm window all about seat. That. Yeah. <laughs> I will walk past you and be like, hey, I'm a lifty. <laughs> you just wear the blue uniform. <laughs> ah, yeah, I can't wear that right. everywhere, but... <laughs> Do uh, so? Do, are there groupies for the? Oh, things? good question. Ooh, good question. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't. I don't have that experience. Oh, I thought you were like I don't. I don't. I don't the, uh, smell the puss and tell. <laughs> there are <laughs> some lifties. No offense. That are hot. Yes. And oh, they, f- I yes. want to be like them. I want to live like them. They just seem so fucking cool. Some of them just wear t-shirts. A lot of them are Australian, and they're just so fucking cool. Listen to cool music all day. It seems like the life, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It and does. It, it's great. We got a lot of the, the J1s. So they come out. Like for the winter, it's a lot of South America. Oh, yeah, yeah. We like saw Argentina, a lot of that. Argentina, Chile. Yeah, cool. yeah. We noticed uh, there was. There was a, so where do you get them from? Do you buy them from like somebody? <laughs> you stop them at or, a U-Haul and be like, a, it's a tell you what, instead of sending you back. Thing, like, so like with, with students. Ford Exchange, yeah. man. Well, fucking Park it's City cheap is labor. ripping them off. Cheap, yeah. You don't have to like pay for the visa. Like, I'm a, it's seasonal work, right? It's seasonal work. Like They have to pay their way to get there. Damn. Do, do they get credit? They, no, they get paid. I'm not sure what They get paid is. and they get like, tickets. They get, oh, they, they get, they get paid. They get paid. Like, and Okay. They get paid the, our hourly wage. Dude, everything. I was in Whistler and I hung out with a bunch of the uh, like the employees of Whistler, yeah. and it's a lot of Australians and so much blow. <laughs> it never. They live like twelve to a house. Yeah. And it's just like just constantly fucking lines, lines, lines. Weed, weed, weed. It's what a fun time. Are there they, a lot they, of those like orgies with the ticket people from uh, where are they from? That's a good question. Argentina. Argentina could very well happen we do, we do we, just this year we just started employee housing oh so oh. that could be that's gonna spread some that's, disease that's where it's gonna happen yeah there's gonna that's... be an outbreak monkey pox on the <laughs> on the butthole wait how how cold does it get there is there does it get bad or do they heat that fucking hut it it can get pretty cold like back when i was working parking it went to negative 10 oh, yeah. damn it's gonna be outside and in the morning and then later on it goes up to like maybe five degrees so parking sucks because you can't be inside at all. Parking did well. It was it was hard. <laughs> Fuck. Have Plus you ever the, had the uh, people do not listen to you whatsoever? They'll, oh yeah, they'll run you over. I've seen guys do it. And they're like, like no, I've park been here. parking here for forty years. <laughs> I can park wherever I want. It's like that's no, like, you park where stupid. I point you to park. That's crazy. We saw a guy to take, take him two spots, and we felt like fucking king his car. <laughs> We're like, what, move over. Do you ever have a supervisor come in and you just like ripped so much ass inside that hut? That's a good question. What that he's like, what? Like in there? The, he's like, we're taking the shovel away. <laughs> I've I've been in like when I take over a, a lifty shack, and it they, has been, they've been in there a while. <laughs> it's, it's, it's got it's got a funk in there. Is it ever like you, a hot? Do not want to be a part of uh, like a hot <laughs> Argentinian chick who just. Been blowing uh, mole out. I don't know it's what's a, the cuisine. It's a hot Do you guys have a man? <laughs> no, you guys have <laughs> partners. You have partners, right? I think I see you with somebody else there. Sometimes we'll have multiple people. Why heavy lift? Just just bet- in between breaks. Oh right, a little bit of overlap. Yeah. And then if it's a very busy lift, we'll have two people at the bottom because that's where the problems usually are. Okay, to try to get people to load. Yeah. I want to get into falls soon, but also like how do not you, but how do other people smoke weed while? Because I could not imagine doing it not stoned. Drunk would be a bad <laughs> idea. I'd probably fall into that habit, but yeah, I definitely smoke weed. <laughs> Where do they do it? Honestly, like yeah. right in front of you. You have no idea. Oh, seriously? Why? I yeah. Wow. And Wait, I, you, and everyone just assumes it's come from someone in line. Yeah. Dude, that guy today at the Damn. top, and we asked, like, what's like, the easiest I, way back? I wonder that, too, like, because, like, they'll come through the line, and it'll smell like weed, like, right at the base, like, where at when they're loading, and then, like, they're just going to think it's me. Yeah. And it's right. like, I've been standing here. Like, you've seen me this entire Not time. Smoke. Like, I, what have I ever done? Have I ever put my mouth up here? Under? Uh, <laughs> I, never, <laughs> I would do. But then they look at me. It was like, whoa, well, you've been smoking weed. I was like, no. That's ridiculous. No. I mean, habitually for a decade, but not right yeah. now. <laughs> Not not at the moment. <laughs> yeah. I would huff computer spray. 
That's pretty good. What does that do for you? Well, I mean, while you're using the lift, you could easily do it. You're like, I'm just cleaning the. Yeah, no. Do you have right. a keyboard in there? <laughs> yeah, you go in the I would shack just br- and just act like you're spraying the buttons. Yeah, and then it's like just, one for me, one for the board. Start, Wasn't yeah. GSP really into computer spray? Yeah, that is true. Yeah, George St. Pierre. Yeah, he got addicted to the Huff. Yeah, that's uh, why he retired from the UFC. He had to leave because they started testing for Huff. Well, no, just because he was uh, he was really into it and he thought he'd dedicate more of his time to huffing computer spray oh wow you know he's coming to the show yeah George he's good. He's good yeah he's in, he's in salt lake right now yeah i think he's right outside the door i think go, he's go from salt him. lake he's oh, <laughs> bring, bring, bring yeah him in. Bring him in. <laughs> go talk to him outside for a second um wait i'm trying to think let's hear about crashes crashes yes i fell off once getting off the lift getting on Getting on. Oh, yeah. that's even better. I was drunk. Happens. It was with Renazizi. It was one of the first times it was in Vail. We drank it like lunch. Yeah. And then the altitude, you know. And I was trying to do, at the time, it was a high level move for me. I was trying to get the poles underneath you. So you sit on the poles. Ooh, yeah. And they stick out the back. <laughs> I but, hate I hate that but move. That old high level move. That is, that is like one of the biggest <laughs> problem that they don't load right. <laughs> Because they just try to stick that underneath them. Yeah, sometimes and they, they put can't. A, they can't get it through. Yeah, they can't so get it through it the back. Yeah. In between the poles. Like yeah, in between. I don't slots. get it. It's uncomfortable. By the it's way, it's not uncomfortable. It's and what do you, you get it under is, here? It is very. You don't get it right, but you crack. No, but you can't. Well, you can't hold poles. What's wrong with you? I right? might drop them. Just, just hold them. No, then how am I going to? I always hold smoke them. my meth. You hand them to someone sitting next to you. Yeah, yeah. right. You <laughs> see uh, what happened on the bottom. You see what a straight pole. Once you're on the lift, you can just put them off to the true side. Yeah. but i saw yeah. a fucking cool chick doing it and i was like i want to be <laughs> like her and so i was doing so i was like i'm gonna do it this time and i was trying to do it i'm like where do you line it up there's a hole in the back of the chair yeah and you got to get it through there but it's also yeah, like yeah. how do you line it up and i'm doing you it got, you, got, you, got, you got like a two inch yeah. window yeah some of them are bigger you can just get them you right got, through. you got the little little pad yeah exactly that, ski that poles. Makes, right yeah, yeah. uh-huh so I'm trying to do it. The thing's starting to push me, but it's okay because we're, we're I'm skiing. You, you know, you it's got skiing, a couple feet, and I'm trying to do it, and I'm trying to do it, and it's pushing me, and then I'm just down. And then the the, the chair kept going. Does he ever tell you this? Does not stop immediately. He does not stop. So the chair keeps going, and I pop my head up, and I go, I spun, and I go, I'm okay. And some old man just shove my head down. Do not stand up. No, no. Shove my head down. Shove your head down. The thing went right over my head (laughs) at whatever velocity was going. I was like, what? No way. And the the chair just narrowly missed my skull. And any, any, what yeah. like, anytime you fall at the bottom, the first thing we do is hit stop and just say, stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down. Because well, the second they fall down, they just want to get right back up. But guess guess where the chair is? Right. It's not stopping immediately. What so. the fuck? Yeah. So then I had to spin and I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm trying to spin out of the way. And then and then as soon as the guy goes, stop the lift, I was like, fuck. Because <laughs> it was already a long line. Yeah. And Doesn't so matter. then it's like, everyone's mad when the lift stops. You should also have to go to the back of the line. That is true. You, you fucked I up. You I go don't to the make back. them do that. I can have them come back on the oh no, make on them the deck and they get their skis or snowboard back back together and I let them go on the next. You got to give them time up. to think about what he did. Yeah, learn from your mistakes. Go in the back. They, do, they they think about it. They they're they're very sorry when it happens. They are. They don't care when they're doing it. Yeah, they're just like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Remember but that then, lady I tried to help up. She like fell in line, just blew up. Oh yeah, and I was like, you need a hand. She goes, no, I'm good. And she's blocking the line. And then I'm like, you sure? She's like, I'm good. And then she like tried to get up, fell even more, then did the splits. And eventually oh, yeah. some other guy's like, Lady, hack my hand. And she's like, I'm good. But it's like, you're blocking the line. You can't be, nah, you can't yeah. By the way, have We were chicken. on the lift and she, we had already taken off and she's still she back missed, there like, laying on the fucking ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then as his lift stopped, I got to get out. And then Brendan Zisi was on the chair before me. He just goes, It was Ari Shafir. AriShafir.com <laughs> if you want to reach oh, out wow. and tell him how you feel about it. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> what a dick. You can, you can tell him personally. Yeah. And I was like, is that what you think, you guys? I'm just drunk at noon. <laughs> Normally, that's I would have no been fine. That's, that's most people. Yeah. That's most people. They serve. Yeah. Um, when do you guys now, you're working all the time. When do you get to ski? Uh, Question. For, for breaks. So, like, we make time to go between stations because you know there's a top and a bottom yeah and the one i work at we have we work another lift a little tow rope oh that tow rope sucks a dick yeah that's when you see the best crashes that's oh that's a watch 
And we, we can't laugh out loud, but you know, we laugh silently. Yeah. But we saw that lady. There's a child, by the way, fell who, who, who couldn't make it up over the crest, you know, because it is a little hard. He yeah, the little last arms. two feet is, is a, you have That's to like kind of jump over and then part, get off. Because people just let go like five yeah. or ten feet before. It, and then it's just, they just sit there. There's like, what oh, do I do now? You go right back yeah. to that. Get out of the way is all you got to do. Yeah. And some lady was yelling at the child, like, get out of the way. They're like, lady, he, he, can't, he can't go anymore. His yeah. arms don't reach. They, they try to the hold lift on the- and it, the rope is just going. How about, you, through yeah. their glove. Have you ever seen someone's hand glove. go into that fucking? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Holding a ski pole. Ski pole goes oh, inside no. the lift. And it's wrapped around. That's why you don't wrap it around. And they don't take it off their wrist. Exactly. <gasps> so then their hands like kind of no. suck. Like, what, no. what do I do? I was like, way. give me a second. I'll I'll get you out of there. So what do you do? Reverse it? No, no. We we can pull that like, little stop. Gate, oh, my God. Do you it lose back and they, they can come out oh and we pull, pull their glove, pull their, their ski pole out. You should have to send them back to the end of and the then, line. Yeah, I said, like, go, go back try up. again. Go to the bottom. <laughs> I would say that might be the only weakness of that resort is that fucking tow rope. Yeah, but there's no that's... other way, especially late in the afternoon. There's no other way to get down other than that tow rope. And then a lot of people have no idea it's there. Yeah, like when they get there, it's like I didn't know this was here. It's like, well, it's you know, you can yeah, you can walk up the hill. Has there you been don't talk have to of use it? And making snowboarders... like a like a filling it in so you could make it over it. Yeah, that's what I do constantly when I'm there. I put the snow up there. I make sure the ramp or is. Is there been a talk of getting rid of it altogether and just plowing it down, you making would, it no, all the way? I've, I've they need a fucking. That they need a learner permit level, thing. Level the yeah. ground, and oh. then it. We could probably ski through. Yeah, because it. it goes down and back and up. And even even if they level it, just put a tow rope that is straight. Yes. Right. Like so it all does. It's quarters. not hard to hold on. It just pulls you straight. Yeah. Seeing the snowboarders try to figure out, because skiers, you just grab it, you just lean back, and yeah. you're okay. Snowboarders, snowboarders like, you can't lean back. They have the hard time because they want to be on the other side of the rope. Yep, they got to switch. But they can't because once they get up to the top, like they're pushed off to that straight drop uh, off. That's what yeah. happened to the people we were with. Yeah, you see one go down, then the other go down. Then so they when they get down. to the top, you just got to yell them, get on the other side of the rope. You're like, no, I'm good. And then they just <laughs> go not. right into the fence. <laughs> 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 and then, then, then you just have to laugh at them. Do you ever see the, um, I saw this in Zermatt. I'm going back to Zermatt. Have you ever been there? No. Switzerland. Mm-hmm. We saw Definitely one of those not. where you, we, it's like a, what, just a, a tea bar. Tea like, bar. Yeah. And that I fell on that too. It's like, you're fine. You're fine. And then you're like, <laughs> you're just yeah. like wait, what up. happened? No, you just put it between your legs. I know. But you then you're fine. Right? And then you have to lean back at just the right angle. And then if you're like, let me move up a if little. You, if, oh, if it's you the, the, a little unlevel and you just like. Yeah, oh, I have seen that where you go. Oh, whoa. Now I'm up. a And then the tea bar slides and you try to correct. And then it's just, you're out. Yeah. And you, you can't back re-grab down. it, especially if it like, yeah. lets go. It's, hold it's, hold it's, on and get dragged. Yeah. Get dragged up. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish they would get, I wish they're, you know what they should put in there? One of those kitty learner like pads that take you up. Just a magic carpet. The magic yes. carpet. Yeah. yeah. A little moving escalator. Yeah. yeah. Why don't they have that? It's like the airport. Yeah, exactly. We have those at the resort, but. For not, the learners. Not at that spot. Yeah. That's what you need yeah. like four of them in a row. Four that just go. <laughs> and you can have races. You know, where it's like gamble. Put you say racist? Red. Winner gets to the top. Yeah, you could have racists. They probably actually, it's skiing. They're, they're, they're there. Already <laughs> they're already there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So you only, you ski on your shit, on your break. And then, Absolutely. but what, do you, I mean, on your days off you go? Because who wants to go back to their job? I personally don't oh, because really? I love my time off. I love my free time. Yeah. But do you and know, I, like, I ski enough while I'm at work. How long okay. is your break? Uh, depends on the day. Like I usually give half hour breaks three times a day. Oh, that's oh, great. You Jesus. got at least an hour and a half and to so just go ski. Right where you are, you go up that lift and you then don't, go. You don't clock out. Yeah. Oh, it's so no like, way. Especially if you're at the top and you get a get a break, you just right away. You're well, just, that's because you're skiing. You, that's because you don't work at the comedy store where they illegally clock you out before you left work. <laughs> 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 to save money. They like, let's, uh, let's, let's kill just, the wannabe employees. Some old business moves. <laughs> Dean. <laughs> you imagine Park City shaving your hours just like the comedy <laughs> store? <laughs> that's the worst. You're like, I didn't lock, clock out at 1230. We stayed up until two. They're like, like, oh. I was like, can I go home then? And they're like, no. You're just clocking me out and I can't leave? <laughs> yeah. Um, you got to ski to work, right? And you ski home from work? For, for my lift, definitely. Yeah. yeah. There, There's lifts, like the base lifts. And obviously, you don't have to ski to. You just start there. You ever see somebody get really injured on falling off a lift? Falling off a well, lift? Or like trying to get on or trying to get off? Uh, Not really injured. Like they, they're they injured pride-wise. Right. Obviously, they feel embarrassed. but Dude, I was in uh, Snow Basin. No, that's when we just went Snow to. Snow Basin? No. You really. Uh, the one in near Tahoe. 
Oh, uh, Sugar Bowl. Sugar Bowl. Mammoth Sugar Mammoth Bowl. Mountain? Sugar Bowl. And there's there's one where it's like it goes like this at the end, right? So you have to like tilt your skis up because the, the the level goes like this. So and every, I wasn't every looking. Every time you get to the top, yeah. Yeah, and I wasn't looking, and my ski got caught straight on, and so it started and then, to bend. Oh. oh, and I was like, fuck, 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 and the ski wouldn't bend, and I just had to lo- send it. I just had to throw myself it off. Popped off, right? No, at it least. did not pop it off. Didn't. Oh. No, my ski was like this. I was like, ow, ow, ow! It started to hurt, and I was like, my <laughs> leg is going to break. <laughs> and then I was just like, ah, and I just fucking lost. And my friend Evan was like, what the fuck are you it's doing? It's like tight bindings, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a mistake on the binding, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I, he, see, I see that all the time at the lifts. Like, little kids and, like, even adults. Not paying. They just, they come, they're just swinging their feet. And then all of a sudden the ramp comes, and then their feet are like this. Fucking and then, uh, idiots. And then they just idiots. face plant right on Right on it the It says top. keep your tips up. I know it says, but we we've, don't pay attention. It was on the we've phones. Got, we got signs. But why are they only in English? To punish the foreigners? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay off our mountain. <laughs> do you ever, uh, do you, what was I going to say? Fuck, I forgot. Do you, ever, do you do the rescues when the lift stops? Mm, like, I'll be there, but it's usually the. <laughs> You're just the like, patrol. hey, you guys are doing yeah, a great like, job. There's not much there I can do. I'm not a first responder. <laughs> Have you ever seen that video of the lift going backwards and everyone yelling, oh. jump, jump? I have not been a part of that. But have luckily. you seen it? Have you seen the I've, video? I've seen it. Yeah. Wasn't it That's in, in our it, training. It was in, in our like, training. Uh, oh, really? Like oh, the, is it really? The Georgia event where it was just spinning uncontrollably backwards. What yeah. happened and people there? people were just jumping off. Why did it do that? I mean, it was also because it was like it's, in Serbia or something. It was just a, fa- a failure. But it this, was so weird because they were telling people, like, jump. People were like, no, I'm on the, I'm not jumping. Yeah. Like, it's going to smash your do legs. You, do you not see what's behind you? Like, yeah, I get it. It's freeze. Jump. You're like, off. Ugh. So that's possible that that could happen. It's, it is a freak accident. What's the training? Yes. What do they tell you to do? We got to hit emergency stop. If it doesn't stop, like, there's, there's nothing we can do. Start, t- start taking the, videos. The, 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 <laughs> do they tell you just lower your just head take and, like, people's phones down? We drop your head and quietly yeah, walk yeah, away. Yeah, emergency <laughs> stop. The emergency stop should just go straight down in the bowl wheel so it doesn't spin anymore. Yeah. But, so, but if that doesn't happen, what, do you have to throw yourself in there? What and sacrifice? You like, all you can do is just start yelling at people, jump off. Fuck. Have you ever seen anybody jump off? No. I always wonder, you know, when sometimes it, the, the ground goes closer and further from like the. the, the I worry thing. about that sometimes, like especially this year we've got a lot of snow. Like I feel like people are just gonna jump off, just jump. It, I'm it, like, yeah. I could just hit this. It looks inviting. It does. It, it looks really close. Does. Like I've I've looked at that myself. I was like, I could do this. Yeah, I did but it it's once straight in Michigan, down backwards. Yeah, and it's like ten so to fifteen do feet. A, a 180 when mm-hmm. you when you go. Like, but even you've like got ten feet to drop yeah. or whatever, and so. go right into it like James Bond. Yeah. But even like six or seven. I did it in Michigan once. What? The lift was stopped, but it was like seven foot drop. By the way, extraordinarily painful. And when you land, <laughs> you're like you. It's, it's yeah, untouched. Two foot drop it's an unnatural landing. You, it's untouched. Yeah. Snow, so you probably drop way more than well you this is michigan gonna. so it's more ice oh, yeah. but <laughs> when you crunch. land you land flat but normally when you land you like you know you so it fucking jars your knees and everything because oh, yeah. you can't bend forward it's at all easy yeah it's not easy being i don't cheap. recommend especially it especially the older people damn. damn that video was crazy everyone you ever see you ever see the video where the guy jumped off a, a jump and then just sat on it um oh yes. the lift lift i have that been, was pretty yeah, bad i have been saying yeah. that like this ever happened to you? It's like I have never no. seen that. Who's no. gonna try that? Yeah. Who's gonna? That's how to be set up. It's not just like you're just sitting next to somebody. Like, Hi, how you doing? Like, come on. There was a guy who couldn't, was sitting backwards on my lift anyway. So there's no way. Did you see the guy sitting backwards and then he flipped off and landed on his skis and took off? What? He like got his skis up behind the backrest and then he like rolled off, landed on him? his skis and went down and clipped him. No, he like hung his skis off the very back. You know the backrest like that. What and, backrest? And here's the seat. Here's the backrest on the lift chair. Okay. Here's the seat. He was doing like this, and then he just flipped off backwards. Oh my god! Skis and, and ski down. So did like a whole roll. I mean, who? Which lift he would let him sit backwards on a fucking? I think he did it after it. Oh, I think right. he did it while he was yeah, in the like air. Once, once you're in the air and we can't see you, it's like, not your problem. What can we do? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're on your own. At Is that, that point. like international waters? You're like we yeah, we can't prosecute you. You've you've signed the waiver. You know. You said you know how to load and ride a lift. So. Is there a waiver you do sign? I, yes. I, really, I know how to load. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> and I only lift, know how to unload. You, you get on, you pass signs and say, hey, if if you don't know how to load, like talk to someone. 
Damn, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> how do you do this? <laughs> have you, you ever seen a load, group, don't load? Have you like, seen a group try to overload like a group of seven girls? Oh, yes, six yes, yes, yes. Wow, that's happened many times. What do you tell? You're do like, hey, there's on? too many, and they're yeah, like, no, just, no, it's we cool. We just gotta stop it because we're yelling at them, but they're not paying attention. So you count six, like, oh, wait, there's we kids. can see like, like, yeah, a chair of six, and there's like eight people Whoa. running through. It was like, there's no way that's gonna fit. I know you got like little kids, but two groups, guys. It's two groups. It's six people, not just whoever can fit on this on the chair what about when there's because i saw this at snowbird once there was huge line it was on the back side where there's only that one lift and you know they they're loading from both sides and i heard some guy start yelling at the guy who was doing it he's like we don't have to put up with this and he was trying to start an what? uprising with the, the lifties yeah i go what, what, there's what are you, there's nothing to do he goes, you're not moving fast enough, man. And then they, they started really screaming at each other. I thought they were going to fist fight. Wait, who's screaming at whom? Some guy was waiting forever, and he's like, you don't know what you're doing, man. To the lifty? Yeah. And then he started yelling to us. He's like, we we don't need to be putting up with this. And I was like, what are our options here, you, you stupid you, fuck? What if we get rid of him? Then none of us yeah, go. Yeah, it would. <laughs> it's, it's chaos. there's no lift. My job is not to control the line. It's to control the people on the line. Nice. What does that mean? So, like, as a lift operator, we are focused on the actual lift. Yeah. So, like, the people in line waiting to get on the lift, like, yeah, we kind of pay attention to that, but we that's not our fo- main focus. Just You want to get them on the there. We care about the people right in front of right us. Right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like so you're not line, we, line can't, we can't be line judges. Yeah, you're not my responsibility to you fights, sit on there. Are there fights in line? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Somebody stepped on my ski today, like, three times. Put his ski on my ski, and I'm like, and I looked, and then again, and then I gave him a, a, a strong, passive aggressive look, and then I moved up some, and then he did it again. And I was like, yeah. And then I realized I was never going to do anything, but like, I could see somebody like going, hey, dude, watch your fucking skis. Oh, yeah. Some guy hit me in the arm the other day. No, you rolled over a guy's snowboard <laughs> and knocked him down, and then didn't even say you're sorry. I looked the back guy, at him, he was, and he was I on the ground. Was, I was waiting for him to say sorry to me for what? For going to slow? Going over him? Well, what the fuck Makes was he sense. doing? That? I was sense. going. I was like, I. He was stopped in the middle Some of the of these line. Guys, get your fucking boot off before you get in the line. Fucking yeah, right. don't do it there. Oh, blocking yeah. it today, three across. I deserved what he got. He, wow. Yeah, you I hope you're out there watching this. You know what you did. <laughs> you know what you did. Piece of you shit. Know what you did. Yeah, are there fight? There are, are there fist fights ever? Absolutely. Wow, that has happened. Based yes. on what? Like people cutting line or just frustrated like long any, lines? Anything, especially with long lines. Yeah, and for long lines, just frustrating. Like, just a little close and like kind of bump them. People have that attitude just right behind. Just Don't touch my board. Boom. Wow. You know, it's like you touch my gear and no, it's scratch. Boom. Oh fuck. Yeah. I had a guy resting his chin on my shoulder in that tram today. I swear to God. Shut up. I swear. I kept going like this. sleeping on your shoulder. Dude, I'm telling you. It was right here, and I was. I kept going like, get the fuck away from me. What? Yeah. Wow. That's he, ball. Yeah. Lord. I was like, I, I kept looking, and I was always kissing him on his forehead. Did you? That's not, Did you? That's, that's not too no, bad. No, I didn't kiss that's him. That's not too bad. Yeah. Well, okay. Nice, so nice now everybody's too. like, hey, what are you, homophobic? What's wrong with the nice kiss? What's wrong with the nice kiss? The, nice kiss? The he, tram. Was, he was just trying to get close to you. No, you know. That's true. Did Mike he, step in? slowly, right? Who's Mike? Like, oh, yeah. But, no, Mike goes, <laughs> no. do it, bro. <laughs> do it. Mike was a fucking What do you do uh, when you see card. a fucking fight? Do you film it? Do you Starbucks it and throw the blocks out? Try to stop it. What do you mean, like, hey, hey, you're not just, equipped for that? Just, yeah, yeah, like it's not my job to like break up fights, but at that point, <laughs> you're not a, you're not the bouncer. <laughs> like I said, like our main focus is the actual lift. So if people are fighting in line, like we can try to stop that, but then overall, we'll just make a call and just like, hey, we need we need people here now. Oh, you call for backup. Yeah, so we got. Radio. And how do they get there? We, yeah, we it got takes radio. A while. They got to go so anyone, up, down, up, anyone, and then ski around. anyone in the area who's like, "Hey, we need help at blah 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 lift." Are like, there secret marshals? Bottom. Like there's secret flyers there, where there, people have guns on the slopes. There are people always <laughs> <You> around. <laughs> oh, there are. So yeah. So like, you, that's a good question though. Because are you ever on a lift with a guy you don't realize he has a gun just in case somebody takes over that chair? <laughs> yeah, just in case a, a diehard <laughs> situation happens. <laughs> he's got his. He's got never his had that experience. So I don't, I don't What's know. the best fight? Because it's hard to. F- how could you fight? You got gloves. That means you fight harder. Because that sounds like, like this, a, a Russian fighting league. Yeah. Ski fights. One guy's got his gloves on. The other guy doesn't. Unfair. Also, right. where are you going to hit him? You can, not here. That's yeah. got that's gotta, got MIPS. Gotta You're gotta not going to hurt me with MIPS. No, dude. It's all chin. about MIPS. 
It's all about pips. That'll get protect him you. Kidneys, man. Get him in the kidneys. kidneys. Get him in the balls. You got your pole. It's got padding. Stab him like Taylor would do. <laughs> oh yeah. Stab him. Don't even hit if, him. You've got weapons. Yeah. Stab like, him in the in the goggles. If you just sharpen your skis, boom, bring him out. <laughs> yeah. Bring him yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you got to do it, you got, you what, you got do razor it. blades. That's what you need. Is this guys roadhouse spinning my like, razor blades on the outside oh, of the skis just to fucking tear some. Hey, are you doing? Fucking back out. My my poles turn into nunchucks. Oh, that's good. Just start fucking throwing them. Damn, that would you gotta, suck. You got to be ready for every situation. Is that what they tell you? You're like, <laughs> do they? Yeah. Do they train you in situations where you're like, this will never fucking happen ever? What? A little bit, a little bit. What's the craziest situation they train you for? Uh, how to get your crazy. How to get your d wet in the those, those in the lift hut? That yeah. You can't control. Has is there even a rumor of a woman having come on to one of the lifties and kind of been like, "What are you doing later?" When I went to Domino's, they said like it happens, but no one that trained me that said it happened. I've I've heard a lot of problems with old dudes hitting on the women, not not the women, right? Oh, the men, because there's there's no problem with the women. The guys, they're all about it. They're they're not going to complain about that. Not complain, brag. Mm, Yeah, that too. That's what I'm saying. Have (laughs) there any rumor of that either? I haven't heard that. That's definitely a lot of the girls getting hit on, and that's like we've changed our names. Like on we, your tag, we used to have our last name. Now we don't have our last name. Oh, so they can't try it out. They can't like. Some of those damn. chicks are so fucking cute. Yeah, and you know they're just like living this cool, independent it's, life. It's been a huge problem. Yeah, yeah. Because the ski instructors, they all bang all of their it's, like, I mean, especially, especially the ones that teach the kids. Gotta make money. Kids, dude. The kids Is that are, the, yeah? They and they can't the ski one? away fast. <laughs> they so have the like straps. The they the have those straps. They hold them up. What um what else is there? What do we want to know about? What do you do when the old guys like keep coming around and hitting on you? Like, just get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah, well, old gay dudes I mean, must go hard I on you. I haven't I haven't experienced that myself. What are you, an otter? So. What are you? <laughs> what are you in the gay world? Who knows? What the hell's an otter? Otter is a is a fat know, an hairless. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That's hairless? The, I would qualify for that. I'm not. I'm yeah. no bear. I, I'm He's not, not a bear. He's not hairy. I can't, I can't grow a beard. Oh, but you have that long, luscious hair. Or, or is yeah, that a I seal? I can get the locks in there. No problem. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be. Yeah, I could see that being an issue. Old men in general are. Uh, they have a lot of issues. They do. <laughs> They're like the world's changing around me. And, but the audacity to be like, I'm gonna fuck this ski lift guy. As like a seventy year old dude. No, they hit it on the girls. No, they're, no, they hit they're on the hitting dudes. the girls for sure. Oh, wait, I thought it was the dudes. Gay dudes. Yeah, no. gay. Gay dudes. Yeah, I don't. I haven't had that. Gays experience. aren't allowed to on the Utah mountains. Oh, is that true? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they haven't changed that law yet. Okay, they good. Got, good. Yeah, an hour, but then for a second, the I was worried. Slopes rule. I thought I was sitting next to a guy that was a gay, and I was like, "How'd you get on here? How the fuck did you?" Yeah, I started calling get on here. We've got one. You called nine one one. Utah's like, "Did you call the gay hotline?" <laughs> <laughs> it's better not be about meth again. We don't give yeah. a shit. If you have real emergencies, don't call nine one one. Gays only. <laughs> um, is there anything to do out out in the ski towns? Like, there's no comedy out there. Um, or is there? I mean, there's there's concert venues. There could be some comedians that come by, but comedy wise, up and who would go? You have to play at like six p.m. It's 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 bands usually, and then we got that that main street up there. That's that's where they really play. That place sucks. <laughs> you just hated it because it was uh, a <laughs> Sundance. Sun it was all yeah. black oh, Sundance off. right now. Yeah, Definitely. yeah. like it's it, it not, was too much. Too many people with passes. They said we got our. Uh, uh, skis they were like you're gonna see a lot of high heels on the snow <laughs> like <laughs> people un- Ill- ill-equipped to handle this the, I mean, the surroundings it doesn't affect the resort that much yeah. minus parking people park there and then just go to sundance oh really that's but right. they don't really oh crowd dude, the it was empty sundance is a great way yeah, it was hard to find lodging but once we found it it was empty up there it's hard to find parking hard to find lodging but like the mountain it's empty god like, it's oh it was great, great it's a great time on a see. saturday there was no lines yeah, yeah. Which is unheard of because one time I waited in line for like an hour and a half at the bottom during oh, yeah. like a uh, hour. Oh, with Renazzi. Yeah, when was that? What's in February? What holidays in February? Black Pres- History Month. President's, President's Day. President's Day. Day. That's a whole week. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's, that's it was bad. Time. Craziest. That's the blackout days, which why would you ever ski on a blackout wow. day? Yeah, I don't. Pe- Some people are like, eh, it's just hour what and it a is. Half and like, to get on. It's like, guys, no fucking way. Give my yeah. money back. Let me go. Yeah. That's I I would hate. Well, we had great times. That's just to get up there, and then you got to go on another list. Yeah, then you yeah. immediately got to get another list. Yeah, like immediately, and then you're like, ah, oh, 
So it's so. it's crazy. Also, how do you feel about the price of the lift tickets now? They're two hundred forty nine dollars. He's not paying for them. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I know. But people you must ask have... me that all the time. What's what's the lift price? Like, I I have no idea. It's more than it should be. Oh, if anybody <laughs> can help, March fifth, there would be the comedian ski trip. Shane Gillis will not be coming because being a complete fucking. F- <laughs> Bleep <What>? that. <laughs> Bleep that. Make it seem like I said that word. <laughs> but me and Ryan and O'Neill and Renazisi and Ryan finance. and O'Neill? Oh, yeah. Me and Ryan and, and O'Neill. O'Neil. For, for finance, Sean Patton, Normand. Everyone, pressure Shane Gillis to come, pressure Santino to come, and pressure Sal to come. You need Gillis. You need Gillis. We need, he brings about, it together. He brings it together. Kreischer? He's, he's, too fucking we went with him once. Snowboards. Yeah. We spent a year. We spent. Yeah. Uh, was it here? Or yeah, it was. No, it was Park it was City. Here. Yeah, Park yeah. Because I tried. I tried to find him when he came last year. You tried to find him? Yeah. I mean, Bert said he came. Like, I knew like where he was staying, like hotel wise, not like the actual <laughs> hotel room. Good. Were we down there with uh, fifty headshots for him to sign? <laughs> and because he's he's big on social media, he constantly. Oh my god! So I giving away exactly his where surroundings. He's on the yeah. I was like, oh, I need to go over there and try to say hey. <laughs> That's good, dude. I did a I did a podcast there. with Bert. He never released it because of uh, whatever. But um, he, why? What happened? Why wouldn't well, he release it? Well, he it? said he could get me a a, a one a, a Maryland flag onesie made. And he still hasn't done it. And now three <laughs> years have passed, three seasons, and I'm still not skiing in a fucking Maryland onesie. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's if anyone part. can help us with, there's what we need for this fucking ski trip. Yes. Um, a few passes we still need. Uh, we're good on. I got a few. We got, thank I you. got a few. Thank you. Yeah. That helped us hella last year. Um, uh if any, do you know any? Do you know any comedy fans who are instructors? I want to get everybody like a instructor? like a morning. So you need a lesson. A morning group lesson. Yeah, Ooh, for yeah. the guys who can't ski. Okay. If any that... instructors out there who wants to give a group lesson, reach out. Yeah, just ski, or or if you just snowboard too, I would take snowboard for the first time. To, to, so I'd be like a beginner like those guys. I will not. You will not. I will never. But Renazisi needs lessons badly. Shane, Ian <laughs> Fidance, who fucking sends it with no skill. He fucking sends it. He sweats like I've never seen a man sweat so much. Oh, my God. Because he's working so hard. It's, and I was it's like. tough out there on the first time. Yeah, but yeah. the key is you got to get that. Where Pizza's he's not, not for, easy. You don't get that burn. <laughs> he just goes for it. He blows up, too. Oh, wait. What's all these signs where it don't says no no me. gondola? Oh, yeah. What's a no gondola in Utah? 80% of Utahns agree. No gondola. By oh, Snowbird. Yes, that's for like Cottonwood Canyons. What does that mean? What does that mean? What's no so gondola? They're, they're trying to put in a, a gondola at the base of... Of the road? Of the, the canyon. What? So you don't have to take your car up to the resort. You no. take a gondola up How to the How long would the gondola take? Wait, like that would take 30 forever. Minutes, 20 minutes? I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into it. Why are people opposed to it? It's disgusting. It's gross. It's just Dude, I would love to have a gondola. Environmental issues. They think it's going to take over. Oh, fu- I would much. love if it killed animals. I oh, took yeah. their habits at. I have not looked into it too much. Like, I I feel like I'm for it. It's so funny when you see a local, yeah, like, like a great local idea. sign. It's like 80% agreed on this issue. And you're like, I don't even know what this issue is. I'm just visiting. <laughs> so, like, I don't feel like, any of this. A lot yeah. of the time, that canyon is closed for avalanche mitigation. Like, Won't you, be can't, if you're in a you can't even get to those ski resorts. Oh. So like you can't even take public transit, and these cunts don't want people to get up there, yeah. so they can have when the road is themselves. closed and there's an avalanche. That's a perfect time to get up there. Yeah, yeah. that means the snow's good. The snow's so the only people sick. that can ride are just the people that are staying at the resort on those hotels. Or what about there's an emergency? You got to get someone gotta down get the somewhere. canyon. Yeah, you got to get to a hospital. And you know what they say? Yeah. Fuck that person. Let them die. Let them die. We don't want a gondola in our backyard, dude. I met a guy who worked in the 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 top. Um, uh, lodge place in uh, not lodge but like you know where they have food what's that called lodge it's called a restaurant a lodge yeah. restaurant yeah. in Vail one of the busiest restaurants in the world Ooh, yeah. they just churn people out and he sleeps up there cause it's like you gotta be up at 6am yeah, to yeah. get started yeah, that happens yeah, yeah and it's like and he just sleeps up there all the time and I'm like dude if that fucking if it was a, a snow in it'd be like this is my mountain today yeah <laughs> uh, there's a guy that lives up at the top of Mammoth of yeah. their gondola and there's an apartment underneath it's like 800 square feet he lives up there all winter because he's the only guy that knows how to work on it. He's, he's and, Dean Gubber's uh, father-in-law. Yeah, he's, he's, the ice. <laughs> <laughs> and so when it does snow, sometimes they can't get up to him for like three days. But he he's up there by himself. He, he loves love it. it. He's he got a wife and kids. They don't. They, they <laughs> yeah, stay at the right. bottom. Yeah, right. He's got a wife and kids. Barely. Yeah. He knows what's going on. You ever get tips? Sometimes. 
The guy today we asked directions, I heard him saying like, oh, this that guy's very give me a rarely. Beer. I, I normally only get tips like when people hand in phones and then I hand the phone to the owner. Then they ah. 20 bucks. It's like, oh, here's 20 bucks. Thanks for finding that. It's like, I didn't find it, but thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I facilitated. Someone someone gave it to me and I just didn't yeah. send it away. You should hire somebody to pit pocket people and then bring all the phones to your lift. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. And sell <laughs> sausages on the side. You got a I lot mean, of. I, uh, could, I could definitely sell grilled cheese and brats <laughs> can we come get a grilled cheese and brat next when we're here in march absolutely yeah you let me know like i said i work shows a wise guys on sale now second first show sold out second show just added second show still available yeah nine, nine third show will be added <laughs> that's, really? the four, that's the 4 30 show <laughs> yeah i was like there's no way you're gonna do a later show yeah, last no. time we did a what one three no, show three, three o'clock okay. we had to get her so early me and Renzi had to get her the night before and sean Patton. i almost missed it is that when you when you get here is the sunday though what? And then you start your Sunday, your and then we go straight to. I'll, our, I'll our get lodging. those passes for for, yeah. for Sunday. Yeah, I'll be here. Thanks. That's fucking great, Thanks. man. Thank you. I'm so much. I'm trying to make these like Bert style like festivals without Bert's money or or, <laughs> or, or, or know how, and I got it kind of done, but it's hard because fucking like, people like Shane just like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and then he comes and he has a great time. Fuck yeah. him. Because <laughs> last year he was he was scared to be here. I remember that because he was there. Too many whites. He was here the the, the week before, and yeah, like, he said oh, everyone's no gonna seen listen my shit. to me. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was like, they came to you last week. They didn't even know you were here. So the people that are here thought yeah. it was Ari, it was Mark, it was Steve. Yeah. Like they didn't even know Shane was gonna be there. So that's just a bonus. Who else skis? Do you know which other comic ski? Comic wise, I'm. We have a vetting I'm, process. I'm low. For every on it started with just me and Renazisi and Simone. Simone stopped coming because he can't ski. And then, like we every new back. person we added, we had to vet it by the people that were already there. And yeah. then, and then when they're in, they get a vote too. And if anybody's like, "What do you think of?" I don't know whoever, like uh, Big J Oak is gonna come. And then if one guy's like, ah, "He's kind of like heart attack prone," they're like, "All right, fucking, he's out. He won't <laughs> so, come." So no Joey Diaz. No Joey Diaz in the slopes. He'll fucking snort the whole fucking <laughs> he'll, mountain. <laughs> he'll, he'll bring the powder himself. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm like, you call that powder? <laughs> it's barely three mountains of powder in my day. It's all cut with rocks. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, this show's starting. What time is it? It's it's nine. It's nine oh one. Oh, it's starting. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go out there. Are you guys incredibly hot? No, I love it. I might go out there with this on. Should I just perform like this? Who's this band? Absolutely. Who's this Utah band? Is it a park? Oh, is it a? It is a Utah band. Where are they Salt from? Lake City. Salt Lake. What's it? So what are they called? It's, it's Royal Bliss. Royal Bliss. Do they have any songs about skiing or preferably about being a lifty? No, <laughs> not, not specifically. <laughs> What's no, their no. best song? Ooh, I'll go out with it. Best in the audio version. Song. Ooh. What's your that's, favorite that's, song? That's a tough one. What fucking shreds? Probably Into the Night is my favorite. Into the Night. Yeah. By Royal Blue. By Royal Bliss. Royal Bliss. Royal Bliss, yes. Into the night, into the night, that's right, I'm into the night. <laughs> Is that how it goes? Not even close, but yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing karaoke. <laughs> I'll go out to Royal Bliss, and then I'll find that's, some other songs about being a lifty or fucking yeah. PC. It seems there's something called Royal Piss. Oh, it might be. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I'm asking there's probably a song. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's not there's, hotbox there's this. Let's that's going to be up. a... Oh, <laughs> you got another in the tank. You got one Remix. more. You got one more. I don't have any more. If I come out again, it's gonna be a squeaker. Do you get fucking bubbly, bubbly, uh, bubbly? Sh Ooh, Jesus yeah. Christ! <laughs> all right, I'm going out there. Right, it's gonna right. take me a while Be, to walk up in the elevation. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Here's my mic. All right. He's done. I fucking, it's done. <laughs> oh. Hey there. Did you enjoy the episode? I know I did. I learned a lot and I laughed a lot. Ryan O'Neill was at his top funniest ever. And Brett, wow, informative and deliciously beautiful. I'm Ari Shafir. It's been quite an informative ride we've had. Yep, just you and me, sitting back together, learning about what it's like to be a lifty. And isn't that what it's all about? Friends making friends. <sighs> Third show added in Salt Lake City. 4 p.m. show. That'll be it. That'll be all there is. Andy Haynes has been added to the lineup. 
Guys, it's been real. If you do want to give us ski instructions, absolutely reach out on Instagram or uh, Skeptic Tank Studios email at Gmail. I don't know. Follow the link tray. I forgot the other name of the thing. But uh, damn, dude, Denver was great. I'm sorry. I'm breaking, breaking character. Denver was great. 12 sold out shows. What a fucking fun time. And Brian Simpson opened. Surprise opener. The crowd went crazy. They went nuts. They say went nuts when he was introduced and they went even more nuts when they saw it was him. It was a good time. Um, don't forget to get tickets for New York City, March 24th, Zurich, March 28th, and my whole European tours in April and May. Seattle in two days, I guess. Guys, and Vancouver is probably sold out both shows. 25th is definitely sold out. We'll see about 24th. Anyway, the point is, that was fun. So next time you're passing your lifty, maybe bring a little extra joint, even a pinner. Hand it over. Just one, one day. I guarantee you, they'll smoke. Maybe when it's not that busy, I'm like, hey, man, you're doing a good job. You know that guy that you pass three, four times in a row, and they're always smiling, like, I like this dude. He's always like, all right, boys, have a good run. You know that guy? Fills you with joy. Give him a give him a nug. Give him a fucking pinner. Give him a joint. Let him smoke up there. What's he going to do? Do it sober? I don't think so. I think we learned today that that's not a real possibility. That's it. Let's sign it on out. For Ryan O'Neill and Brent, the lifty, I'm Ari Shafir. Wait, this has been Ari Shafir Skeptic Tank. Uh, that's what it is. This has been Ari Shafir Skeptic Tank, episode 506. Lifty. For Brent the Lifty and Ryan O'Neill, I'm Ari Shafir saying so long. See you on the slopes.